Good morning. It is January the 24th. It's five past nine a.m. in the morning. I've already trained two clients today. So since I had breakfast, that was about half six this morning. And I've since trained clients. I've been to Tesco's, picked up a few groceries for the day. I was also shocked to see that they had Easter eggs in there. This is way too soon. It is January the 24th today. Way too soon for Easter eggs. Like, way too soon, Tesco's. It's January 24th. Today I'm vlogging, as you can tell. <laughs> um, I'm going to share my day with you because Tuesdays, I always seem to do fun stuff. And I always seem to vlog Tuesdays. So you know this vlog is going to end in a spin class. Also, regular viewers to the vlog will notice new decor in the background. We've had a bit of a flat overhaul um, and once it's all finished, I'm gonna do like a flat tour. So let me know in the comments below if you wanna see like a home flat tour. We're almost there, we have to wait for some other bits to turn up and then I will show you. And yeah, today I'm speaking at an event so I need to sort myself out because I got ready at half six this morning. Can you tell? I think you might be able to tell. I've got hat hair going on, I've been wrapped up. It's minus one outside, it's so cold. So I'm just trying to stay as warm as I can. So plan is right now, sort myself out, get changed, get ready, have a little snack before I head to this um, to mother's meeting where I'm speaking today. Um, and I'm gonna take you with me, of course. So I'm just having this quick snack before I head out of half a tub of this Greek yogurt with a persimmon on top, which is this like orangey Sharon fruit and some granola. This granola is Lizzie's granola and we have a love-hate relationship because this is insanely good and yet I need to not eat the whole pack, you know? Mango and macadamia, a great combo. See, this is why I don't open the granola because then I wanna do this. It's so good, so Moorish, right. I need to put it away. No. So I've made it to the venue for Mother's Meeting. Playing this fancy hotel near Bethnal Green. Let's go inside. Town Hall. I've just made it to Mother's Meeting, met the other ladies speaking on the panel, and just check out this venue. It is so beautiful. You would never expect this in Bethnal Green. Look at this, it's an old town hall. It's so beautiful. And it feels weird playing dance music in this location, but this is it. This is Mother's Meeting. If you're like a mum in London, check out Mother's Meeting because it's like a group of women that come together and get inspired and motivated and learn about all sorts of things, health, fitness, fashion, so cool. My biggest advice would just be to do something that makes you happy. Like I said at the beginning, 20 minutes to yourself three times a week is fabulous. So just find something you actually enjoy, you look forward to, and then you can stick to it, you can maintain it. But yeah, I'll stop talking now because I've taken my turn. <laughs> so I just got in for Mother's Meeting. Um, I made the stupid mistake of looking at my phone in the uber on the way home and i just feel so sick right now <laughs> so i'm just gonna chat to you <laughs> before i do anything but i just feel a bit nauseous and i need to be distracted so note to self never look at your phone in an uber it's the worst but yeah mother's meeting was awesome i've come away just feeling so inspired like the ladies who were with me on the like panel were awesome so good and we were there for like two hours and we chatted and we all had had our little bit to say and then we got to listen to each other and it was just so fascinating and i'm just in awe of all the women that attended i mean i hope obviously i don't have children but i just hope that you know when i'm older and i have a baby i'm going to be there um getting inspired and learning something new it's just yeah it's just a really cool thing if you're in london i definitely recommend checking out mother's meeting finding like-minded people who are still looking to like improve themselves and um, just meet other women. It's just really cool. Um, my plans change today, as they often do. Um, last minute change of plans. Diary has moved around an awful lot. So I'm home now for lunch. I didn't think I was going to be, which is nice. Um, home now for lunch. Potentially heading out later, but still to be confirmed. Ah, oh, this self-employed life, eh? Diary changes from one minute to the next. 
Um, and then I will definitely be going out for a client this evening and then I've got spin. So I need to go on with some work, I need to eat some food. Um, and already talking to you, the nausea is going, so I'm feeling a lot better. So today's lunch is a little bit like ready, steady, cook. I've randomly got two peppers in the fridge. I've got a chicken breast and an avocado. And I probably got something else and I'm gonna make the most out of this. I'm gonna roast up these peppers, cook some quinoa, stir the roasted peppers in with the quinoa, sprinkle some feta on, have some balsamic glaze and my chicken. That is what I'm gonna do. And this is the finished product. I've got my harissa chicken, my roasted pepper and quinoa, like warm salad with feta and balsamic glaze. It might not look much, but it's gonna taste so good. And it's a working lunch today, because the laptop's here. So while I'm working, I'm snacking on these two dark chocolate coated corn thins. Corn thins are so much better than rice cakes. <laughs> Consider this like a public service announcement. Don't get chocolate rice cakes, get chocolate corn thins. It's like popcorn, but better. They just have a bit more of a taste. They're so good. So this is my little snack to get me through emails before I head to my workout. So I made it to number one. I'm here with Ben. This is Ben. He's... Hi guys. Look, I'm so small. This is Ben. He's the guy behind number one fitness. And he's teaching me all about... Loading no, movement training and full Q training. So if you're a personal trainer, this is really interesting stuff. And we're going to practice some like loaded movement training now with a Viper. You might not have even seen a Viper before, but we're going to need a Viper. Well. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. Well, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And if you want to see more of Ben, let me know in the comments below. a little snappy thing to keep me going through spin class tonight. I'm still feeling pretty full from lunch, so this should just be a little bit to tide me over and get me through 45 minutes of spin. After a nice big shower at Spin, Jack came to my class tonight. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I had a really good time. Yay, and he took the footage, so Jack was my cameraman. But he actually said, I don't want to take that much footage because I actually want to do the class. So that's why I've just got a little clips, but I hope you enjoy them anyway. I've made us some dinner. But to be honest, we get home after Spin and we're so hangry that I just have to make dinner and I can't vlog because, yeah, we need to eat. Surprise, surprise, we're having salmon, vegetables and rice because you can make it in 10 minutes and that's basically why we eat it after spin. Jack's got Cajun salmon and I've used Thai spices. I'm gonna say goodnight. I have my protein little mug cake thing which I will insert how I made it now. You need one scoop of protein. I'm using chocolate protein. Then you're gonna need one teaspoon of peanut flour, that's optional. I would recommend definitely putting in cocoa powder if you can. 
Then you're gonna add in a bit of baking powder, stir that all together so it's all thoroughly combined. Then you're going to gradually add in almond milk. Keep going until you have like a fairly liquidy kind of texture. I added in a splash more just because I wanted it to be quite liquid. Pop it in the microwave for no more than 30 seconds. I made the mistake of putting it in for longer than 30 seconds and it didn't come out quite as good as it, it can do. So do 30 seconds, not a minute. Once your protein cake is ready, take it out of the microwave and then you're gonna add your toppings. I went for strawberries, chalk shot, and some dark chocolate because you gotta have that chocolatey crunch on there. And yeah, I'm gonna say goodnight. It's like half 10, I need to go to bed. Once again, I'm up super duper early for personal training clients. So I'll say goodnight. Say goodnight to the, no, no. To the internet. Have a good one. Have a good one. Hope you've enjoyed this little what I eat in a day. And let me know in the comments below if you like this vlog style what I eat in a day or if you'd prefer me to do a sit down and chat a bit more in depth about um, exactly what I'm eating and why or some recipes and stuff. Let me know in the comments below. I really love to hear what you want to see next. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. No, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.